just want to say this, that um, if, you, if you drink too much tonight on your way home and you get stopped, this, what they're going to do is they're going to, if you can pronounce our last three names, they'll let you get back in the car. That's how they're not going to do it any other way. They're going to uh, make sure that you can um, say Mondo signs, ladies and gentlemen. That's good. You're, that was one notch above golf clapping. Um, Max Lehetka, they're going to make you pronounce that. He planned that, folks. He planned it. Someone already drank too much. Yeah. <laughs> Child actor. He gets less than everything. Um, my name is Scott Sachs. Thank you for being here tonight. And um, this is really a uh, super nice evening. Good thing on a rainy night. Um, anyway, we're going to start with. Uh, Who do you want to start with? Let's start with Mondo. Yeah. It's by order of the amount of facial hair.
show is entitled Misters Are Doing It For Themselves. <laughs> This is city winery style, I think. situations I call shenanigans. They can be good and bad, but despite that fact, they give you great content for songs. And this song is a uh, little bit of a long-winded story, but long story short, this is a uh, what not to do after you have consumed a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Listen up, kids. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
Thank you, Mom. This is again the merchandise that I'm so sorry for. The song's called The Deep Down the Road with Shane Wright. Oh, yeah, you want some groove? Is it okay if we groove tonight? Yeah. Even though it's a round? A round? Yeah. A sensitive groove. Vote? Oh, there's no vote. There's no voting. Thought it was the United States of America. It's a contest, right?
remember last December was it all in my heart? Thank you. 
cracking, crying It would be a day too late and Don't shed no tears for me Ain't nothing else here to see anymore Just a ghost of California Never knew it was years it was gone Now we're cut in the fires again Now we're cut in the fires again first day of school and your brand new corduroys. <laughs> right? You, you, you felt, did you feel like it, it was like rubbing together while you were singing? You know, it's funny though, since we've had this bipolar weather, like it's cold and yeah. it's 65 and then it's like 20 and 30, I felt the need for another set of corduroys and I haven't had corduroys in a long time. What happened to them? You gotta bring them back, baby. What's wrong with corduroys? <laughs> Nothing. It's not great. I know we all fire our guitars. who has to hear more of everybody yeah. else. I'll take it. Sure, I'm going to take it. No, I just didn't, I just didn't know. I don't know. That's fine. Can you put some Pink Floyd in mine? Can you put some Pink Floyd in mine? Here's a new song I have in the record too. I'm not sure when it's coming out. It's called Cautionary Tale.
screen therapy first. That's where it starts and then it works. Its way but um, I realize there's no places uh, specifically to have emotions that you need to have that you can't have in public. Like you, you can't do that. So yeah, like screaming at the top of your lungs. That'd be nice if they, they had screen booths. You know? I guess the pedal tavern is, is like a, you could scream on that. Top of your on the way here, I saw it was so sad. It was like a it was it was an empty pedal tavern just going in, in the rain. I love that. I know it was it was revenge. It was pedal tavern revenge. Yeah. That they are the fair weather friends to the pedal tavern. Those people. One drop of rain, the party's over. <laughs> if you're gonna drink in public, do it in the rain. be for me The one up in the sky I thought when I was 13 But now I know it's a lie Where in your day can you schedule Breaking down on your knees I got so much to check off And little time in between For the gas pump, the laundry The past that still haunts me Where do you go to cry?
slow down in the car with you guys. We need a, we should have a steering wheel. Like, dude, check this one out of mine. It's like a mixtape. Except without all the farts and the fast food. Yeah, I know, right? The food's a little better. The food's a little better. This was a classic gig, Tony. Yeah. You couldn't get, you can't get a good kale salad on tour. Can you imagine getting a kale salad in Kansas? It would, it would change the game of touring. Yeah, it really would. I can't believe they haven't come up with a healthy fast food restaurant at this point. There's not, there's no healthy people traveling? That doesn't make sense. Nothing? It's, they, they do the Smoothie King, which is... But that's just like, like sugar. Un- the, it's like the most helpful it's like, yeah. yeah, I had two cop salads today and three smoothies from Smoothie King. I'm getting it together. <laughs> Speaking of touring, this is the uh, it's a title track off my latest record called Heart of My Hometown. And, um, you know, for me, one thing that I've noticed from touring all over the, the country, whether it's east, west, north, south, red or blue, is that uh, a lot of places, particularly the small towns, remind me of the small town that I grew up in, western Massachusetts. And um, the biggest thing I take away, especially in these times that every time you turn the news on, it's just the most crazy news you've ever heard in life. Um, where, you know, they always say we're as divided as we've ever been right now, but I think from the traveling I've done is I think that we're a lot more similar than we're being made out to be right now. So I think the biggest thing is if you just keep an open heart and an open mind and are willing to have a conversation with somebody, I think you're going to be all right.
Is that the one? Uh, it's currently out. It's the title track off the current. You know what? You know what I would have done right at the end there, man. I'm just saying, right, right in that last thing, yeah. I would have brought it back like a morpho. Oh, yeah. Yeah. like you're at the end, either at the end, the seventh, yeah. whatever that was, yeah, yeah. and then just go back into your. Yeah. Oh, that sure. was like... Crosby Stills, National Harmony, and yeah. okay. Uh, next time, next time we do this. That's what we'll I was that. feeling. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, I wrote this one in my last life. Stop here, And my former neighbor. That is a true and very short story. Um, she is an obsessive compulsive trash picker and uh, she just handed it to me and she found it in the trash uh, head first. The guitar, not, not hers, the guitar. Was... Um, and uh, where did I put things? Oh, this is it. Anyway. Does anybody need anything from the moment? Oh. 
You know what I, I, I feel like I haven't had Jello in so freaking long. <laughs> what the hell happened to Jello? I mean, that Jello is unbelievable. You know what I want? Yeah. You know what I want? I, want, I feel like uh, Jello stocks plummeted after the whole Bill Cosby thing. Well, yeah. that's true. Yeah. I hate to say it, but I do love Jello though. I love Jello. Yeah, I want. You know what I want? I want fresh cantaloupe. Especially like when you're sick. It's, there's nothing that makes you feel better between chicken soup and Jello. It just. They should make chicken soup flavored Jello. I would. I would definitely try. It's like an Einstein. Oh, Jello. All right. Yeah, I'd like some fresh cantaloupe. Isn't it weird when waiters tell you like they, they add fresh to one of the things? Like, are the other things not as fresh? Why do they always have to tell you like, fresh fruit? Are the eggs fresh? Yeah, I know. The eggs are questionable, but the fruit is fresh. Scott hasn't told you guys, but he does run a uh, regular comedy night down at Zany's. No, I don't. Every other Friday? No, I, I run a comedy night at our house and. Uh, Comedy as a survival tactic. Oh, man. Alright. Um, what you got, man? Okay. Adam, try to make this sound very, very good. Studios or whatever, you just gotta take a take a stroll by the stage later this evening. I always get socket envy at City Wine. This one is uh, it's like a socket bay.
Well, here's another one that uh, I'll be um, putting on the new record that's coming out. This is a tune that uh, I wrote with a dear friend of mine, Tim Jones, who I met within the first month of moving to Los Angeles back in 2005. And 12 years later, I moved to Nashville. But um, we, uh, we, we shared the same friends and the same scene. And, um, I have so many dear friends and colleagues still in L.A. and I still have a, a big place in my heart for that place, but could not be happier living in Nashville right now. And, hey. did, did you all live in LA too at some point or something? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, by the time I left, it was time to leave, and if I had to sum up my 12 years in Los Angeles, uh, it would be this tune. This song is called Lifeboat.
Matthew has a wood grain uh, microphone. And uh, you know, he, I guess he brings his own microphone and it's wood grain. It I don't know like, if they understood what you just said. Is, uh, his microphone has wood grain on it. It's a wood grain. Can you show it to them? Everybody it's, it a little, like, it's a little condescending. It looks like the Brady Bunch's uh, uh, wagon. <laughs> <laughs> it was made from real yeah, wood from uh, the Brady wagon. Yeah. The paneling. Well, I'm from New England, so it was taken from the, the Puritans' boats that came over. <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, Yeah. 
pull over, I'm gonna pee. Oh no, we're not in the experience stage. All right, that was awesome. What was the name of that one? All my shame. Your I like your songs are neither happy nor sad. I love those. Are, that's my favorite kind of song. I felt like that was like Tom Petty's songs, where like they weren't happy or, or sad. I always loved that. They didn't like scream. This is gonna be a sad one. Um, I do have CDs for sale. Yeah, I think we all have CDs. I have. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm. Dude, I'm done selling my CDs. I'm done with CDs. I have the Who. This is the Who's greatest uh, 50 hits. Here's the deal. I was gonna sell it for like 10 bucks, but I took one of them out and put it in like a CD sleeve thing. So two dollars, no questions asked. It has uh, bonus tracks from, uh, you know, that Pete and Roger did, so $2, um, you don't even have to go to the merch table, you can just, you can go. I also have one, a local band gave me their CD, The Running Roots, <clears throat> and uh, you get this if you buy the, the Who CD. Uh, yeah. CDs for sale. I'm gonna do another one on the um, obsessive compulsive trash picker. Um, I just wanna say, I just wanna be honest here that I thought for I hadn't met uh, Mongo over here until tonight, but I I worked on some video stuff and um, he was in it and um, so I honestly it's like you feel like you know somebody you know, yeah and I've been manipulating things you're saying because I've been editing it so um, but I thought that. And this, I'm not making this up. I thought his name was Mondo Science. <laughs> like, like some kind of like pretentious, you know, like stage name, like Mondo Science, which I thought was like a thing, like a genre of movie or something. But it, that's not your name at all, and it's not made up. Because <laughs> there's a thing called Mondo. Ken, what's that thing? Mondo theater, Mondo video. Okay. Thanks for being here. <laughs> but I thought it was like a stage name, so I was like, ah, oh, boy, this guy. <laughs> Mondo Science, okay. But that's your name. I'm the pretentious one, it turns out. Alright, here we go. This is, uh, I wrote this, I purposely wrote a song in, in uh, when my wife and I went to the Newport Folk Festival, because I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to write a song while we're at the Newport Folk Festival. And um, so this is, yeah. I thought I'd write a song with the, the word Istanbul in it, and then just figure out how to get my, myself out of that. I like to write songs that way. Do we have any songwriters here? Just kidding. Um, but like, you know, just like pick an odd place to be and then figure it out. Okay, so it feels like it's, uh,
Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Nice seventh man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get Sarah this one. Yeah, do it. So I have a special guest up right now. I uh you know, one of the reasons I moved to this town was because I, I write with a lot of people and I love doing that. I love doing this stuff and it's always an added bonus when you end up writing with your significant other. And it, it uh, helps you guys get even extra added time together. So um, I'd like to call Sarah Hiley to the stage right yeah. now. Uh, yeah. So we, we've, been, we've been writing together for, I don't know, almost a year now. And, and that kind of parlayed into living with each other. So it was a definite major added bonus for me. But um, me too. <laughs> but uh, we've been working on a record of hers as well that Radney Foster is producing right now. And um, this was actually the very first song that we wrote together. It's a song called Heart, My Heart is Listening. And it's one of the eight songs that uh, we're in the middle of recording right now.
Sarah Eiley, everybody, come on. Thank you, everybody, so much. Aren't these guys awesome tonight? I'm having such a good time with them. Sarah, the uh, main stage is there. Uh, by the way, you're in the wrong room. Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know if everybody can see, but there's like a magic carpet right here. Have you, the stomping, the, the, the drum, the sparkles. She's to like, she was tone deaf changer. before she got up here. <laughs> so this is the main stage. For this. Yes. Man, that's ridiculous. This guy right here is classic. He hiccuped right in the choir. <laughs> Thank God you aren't in a gospel church, man. You would have just, they would have taken you out. We got a couple more rounds for you guys tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming out, especially like such a crazy weather evening. We appreciate that. The uh, the rain didn't stop you guys. We definitely yes, love you. You are folks. unfair weather friends. Thank you. We all brought life preservers, so it's a good thing. <laughs> all right, Mondo is next.
quiet, it seems like a court. Alright. I had a I had a name for a um, sitcom, like one of those bad sitcom names where it'd be like a the um, you know married couple and the man would be like morbidly. This isn't that funny. I'm just telling you this is an idea I had today, so don't. It's fine. He's, he would be, it's like the crazy, you know, zany comedy, he's morbidly obese and she's really thin and it would be called Bigger Than Wife. You know, on NBC. I'm t I'm, it doesn't matter if it's funny or not, I'm just saying, I have that idea and it may, I, I may develop it, you guys will be like, you know what, we didn't think it was that good an idea and you guys are very millionaire. You don't want to laugh, I don't care. Bigger Than Wife. Oh, it's gonna be huge. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Battle Tavern, I knew it. Jeff Silbar. You 
had me wrapped around your finger and I couldn't see for the stars in my eyes to you I meant nothing you had If I had it to do all over again And I knew what I know And how it would end I'd take my hand off to you How you had me fooled If I had to be here I'm glad I was here by you. If I had the choice to save myself from knowing all the heartache in me, I choose to love you just the same. recently just came out with the new 2019 tour t-shirt and it is the Slahetka pierogi shirt it literally says smooth like a pierogi and it has the phonetic pronunciation of the name so you have no reason not to be able to say it by the end of leaving this venue tonight <laughs> but give it up for Scott man he put this show on tonight man it's been such a wonderful wonderful evening Big thanks to City Winery for having us out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is my go-getter. It's a go-getter. Oh, I'm so 
record um, and this is a Nashville song if, if you haven't been there I'm sure that a lot of you have but uh, Tuesday nights over at the American Legion Hall they do this killer night called Honky Tonk yeah. Tuesdays and if you aren't familiar with it it's it's awesome and um, it's I consider it like a gumbo of music scene you got people of all different ages shapes sizes with religions ethnicities you got honky tonkers hanging with hipsters and everybody comes together for this amazing night of music and I found myself there shortly after I moved to town, just still kind of feeling like an interloper. And um, I think, you know, at some point in all of our lives, we felt out of place. We felt like we just need to try to find a place where we fit in, a place where we can call home and find our people, you know. And I felt that way going there that night, and I didn't feel the way after I left that night. And I was just taken in the scene, 
and I was just totally taken by it. And this this phrase kept coming uh, going through my head called "There's a place for you here." And so I kind of chalked it up and then took it to Mondo, and we wrote this song called Old Soul. So thank you guys once again for coming out tonight. It's been a real pleasure playing some tunes for you guys.
suspect Adavan Jr. is running through her veins. <laughs>